Well, there are huge changes. I mean, just immense sea changes. Uh, you know, the technology alone, where you have people now pretty well convinced that very little will ever be done on film again, and, and you are sad about it, and you know that film can do amazing things still, but there's that huge technology change that uh, is not going away. And, and you also have um, fewer movies being made, these big, immense tentpole movies that are being made and that all look like comic books, because they are comic books. And at the same time, isn't it exciting that we see a lot of independent films being made by all the people that used to make the big movies but they still want to make movies, and, and so they're making them independently for very little money. People are deferring salaries and, and doing things. The, the actors love to do that because it's probably more challenging material, and, and that's why you get a lot of wonderful actors uh, doing, doing that for very little money because they love doing it. There's also the excitement of that when I started, there were three television networks. And when somebody suggested that they were going to make a fourth television network at, at Fox, that was, hoo, 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 oh, that's funny. Ah, oh, that lots of luck on that. Why do we need a fourth television network? Well, how many do we have now? And cable networks. And, and there's so much more work out there, so many more films, they're television films, but look at the quality of them. The quality of, of the Breaking Bads, the Boardwalk Empires, uh, Justified, uh, The Newsroom, things like this that are really, really good storytelling and good drama. And uh, that's exciting that these opportunities are out there. So people have to make a mind shift and say, okay, it's not all about theaters and film. There is really good storytelling to be done in all of these other venues. And uh, the world is not collapsing on us because there are fewer movies in the theater. Uh, we, we adjust to not only our television sets, but our iPods, our iPhones, our, our uh, Android devices. You know, we're watching, we're watching entertainment on so many different levels. And, and all of these opportunities are there. People doing, you know, making series just for, just for the, you know, the iPhone or the Android. And uh, is, isn't that great? They don't need the big studios. My dear friend John Frankenheimer once observed that he never had met a director who learned anything about directing by not directing, and uh, that you always need to learn something, and you need to keep fresh with your storytelling, and sometimes taking on challenges that might be a television show you'd never seen before or maybe didn't care for, but still, you know, how do you how do you meet that challenge and and uh, and make things work so you stay fresh you know like going to the gym the storytelling abilities of being able to make a story as long as it will hold as the right length is is a wonderful kind of format and if you want to do something in 20 minutes or something like that then you can do that too i mean i used to work on the night gallery series where we'd have stories that would be 30 minutes long or one minute long. And some of the one minute were like little jokes, little visual jokes. Uh, but it, it was always designed as a format where let's let the story have a say on how long it is. And that's what we get now in with all of our different platforms. You know, we can do little short things for YouTube uh, that are a couple of minutes that can be hysterical, uh, one minute long, and, uh, and we can do much longer things. Wow, that's, that's terrific. You're not limited by uh, the needs of a, a huge commercial engine that, that you know, has very specific 
commands. And uh, it's exciting to be able to be involved in that.